Tell uh, everyone your story and your relationship and how it began at the University of Louisville. Well, I came here four years ago, you know, and I was with Coach Petrino previously at the University of Arkansas. You know, I coached for him there for three years and going on fourth season here at Louisville and just love it here. It's my favorite place. Coach Klinakis, when you are out recruiting or when you have a player out on the field, what kind of attributes do you look for, both physical and mental? Well, I'll tell you what, you look for the intangibles first. You look for the work ethic, the ability to learn, to learn quickly. If, is a guy a student of the game? Does he truly love football? And it, you know, has he had a commitment to be the best? You, know, you look for those intangibles first because you know the ability will show up. You know, that's that's always obvious. There's a lot of guys out there with bil ability, but the mental, you know, aspect is what separates the good from the great. What what made you choose a career in coaching? What happened? You know what? I just I. I like the competitive nature, you know, I like the game, and it was a way to continue to stay involved in the game and stay competing, and uh, just the, the grind of it, you know, the hard work, but also the, you know, the great rewards and successes that come with it. Who were your favorite athletes when you were growing up? Oh, Muhammad Ali was always one of my favorites by far, you know. He, that's the first name that pops right into my mind, and then, you know, I always loved the old 49er quarterback, John Brody. That's a name from the past. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I know I'm named myself, but you know those are two that immediately pop into my head. Do you have a coaching mentor, Coach K? Uh, you know my college coach, Bob Petrino Sr. You know had a great, great influence on me, and uh, you know the work ethic and you know the attention to detail we learned from him as players. What does stadium expansion of Papa John's Cardinal Stadium, what's that mean to you? Oh, wow. That's just awesome. I and mean, we already got the best fan base in the world, you know, but now we get more of them to come to the games and the atmosphere and with the new stadium club and that, you know, it's just going to become the best facility in the country and just going to make the atmosphere even better. You mentioned the best fan base in the world. Um, do you give us tell, go a little bit deeper? What do you think of Card Nation and the fan base? Oh well, Card Nation. It's like when we were at the uh, bowl game down in Nashville two years ago. We had forty-five thousand people there when we opened up at the Georgia Dome. You know, two years ago we had forty thousand down there. We had Card March coming into the place. I can still see the uh, end zone there at Notre Dame with twenty thousand people there and when they miss, miss the kick and how wild that place and how quiet it got you know, there and how the Card Nation was very loud. 